to teach generalized principles that can be applied to business and to life. Mm -hmm. And that what happens is that a lot of the big guys and girls, they get their start with us right. or they come and they put a whole other dimension to a very right. successful business already. Right. So like for instance, Ben Cohen's so Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yep. Yep. And when he first came to Do Money and You, he mm -hmm. literally was still in a garage okay. doing his ice cream. Okay. So he learned a lot. Uh, we teach a thing called the, uh, the business success model. Mm -hmm. And so he learned about leverage and about team. Right. And and so um, and my business partner of nine years, Robert Kiyosaki. He was also part of your Yes, we church. we hung out together yeah. for seventeen years. Yeah. And we were business partners for nine years. Mm -hmm. And that was the foundation of the Rich Dad Poor Dad series mm -hmm. in the sense that some of the principles about really not being educated to being an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, we learn from amazing masters. So when you learn generalized principles, right. then they are true at all times, right. and you can always make them work. Well, one of them is a very advanced one called precession, okay. which is actually the ripple effect. Okay. So when a human being begins to really focus on possibly what ripple effects they're going to mm -hmm. create in life, mm -hmm. as opposed to just in money, right. or they focus more on service, right. or focus more on making their customers really happy. Right. It's a very different focus than just on money. Okay. And when you really see um, almost every single very successful human being on this planet, they have focused on service mm -hmm. and on creating some awesome products and services as right. opposed to just making a fortune. Yes, and they more, well, let me say this. Yeah. There are people that were born entrepreneurs, okay. and then there are people who are discovered mm -hmm. to being an entrepreneur, right. and that happens in our program, in Money yep. & You. Yep. And then there are other people that can be part of an entrepreneurial team. Okay. So they don't have to be that driven, uh, that person that's the leader, mm -hmm. but they, any successful team needs a group of people that can right. really participate and partake and support. So, you know, it takes people who are drivers and very inspirational to go and sell a product or service, mm -hmm. but it takes sometimes quiet people, systems-based people, people that love details to right. be back at the office to make sure that what you offer and what you sold gets executed, right? gets executed and gets delivered. <laughs> delivered. Yeah, so right. you can be part of an entrepreneurial team, mm -hmm. have profit sharing, and be as rich as any entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. we, it's really interesting because we have um, several types of people that come to Money in You, and they always want something more. It's right. that person, whether they're an employee right now, self-employed, or whether they have their own businesses and they're having a learning experience or want to make more money. It's a little yearning that they want to do more. There's more to life that maybe if they could create this amazing business mm -hmm. where they have tremendous joy, enthusiasm, fun, mm -hmm. and making money, yeah. that's the type of person that we attract. So that's, um, it's interesting because our rooms are full of people like that, mm -hmm. and that's what makes the program so exciting and so popular because you get a, a bunch of people that are looking for something more than mm -hmm. just a status quo. Okay. Well, I actually was a court reporter. I was in the legal system. Okay. And prior to that, I had been an interpreter, English and Spanish. Okay. Wow. And, um, and I got very bored when I was very young. And I was only 25 years old, mm -hmm. 24, 25. And I began to look. I began to go through a search. Mm -hmm. And when I was 26 years old, I had a, what could be considered an enlightenment experience okay. that I learned that I was put on this planet to do much more than being a party girl okay. or just caring about money or, you know, silly things that right. you do in your twenties. I was actually in, in one of the most beautiful spots on the planet, okay. Hanalei Bay in Hawaii. Okay. I was into sailing at the time. Okay. And nature heals. Uh -huh. So I had this experience and I, and I had this beautiful connection, if I may say, with the Great Spirit yeah. where I had so many things that made sense to me, okay. things that had happened to me. But one of the things I heard was that I, I have a job to do. Okay. So I went looking for my true life purpose, right. and then I ended up going to this business school right. and found that this was my work for my life. Well, I have my purpose in life. Yeah is to uplift humanity's consciousness through business. Okay. Business is key yeah. in making change. Okay. My mission is to transform educational systems around the world 
to eradicate poverty and hunger. Okay. And one of the things that we love to do is we love to give free education. So if people go to moneyandu.com, moneyandu.com, yeah. uh, they will see free education. Right now we have a, a free business makeover, four sessions. Mm -hmm. And it's very powerful uh, teachings that anyone can just really mm -hmm. download and listen to it. Yep. And they can come to our programs, not come to our programs. For me, what's really important is for every human being to really get in touch with that gift, with that thing that they're so good at. Yes. Like Mr. Fuller, our yeah. mentor, yeah. used to say that if every human being could discover what their gifts is, then they could fulfill that mm. and every human being would be fulfilling their purpose. And that would be a very, very beautiful world to yeah. live in. Yeah. That I find ways to empower business people. Okay. I find ways to connect people in business. Mm. I also go through some of the most powerful business people in a country. Mm. And, uh, and I do this quite often. Okay. And then I go talk to them about how they can make a difference even greater mm. in their country. And one of the offers I make to them that there's no country on the planet that has an educational system that works for everyone. Mm. So wouldn't it be great in Malaysia mm. if you had the first educational system in the world that works for everyone. Mm. I mean, wouldn't that be absolutely yep. stunning? Mm -hmm. So then I get them interested in that, and then they usually introduce me to Minister of Education, Minister of Entrepreneurship. Okay. And so what I do is I go to business people because they're key, they leverage people, and then they're the ones who introduce me to others okay. that can really begin to change, okay. make that change. Okay. That you need to understand that in the world there's two things there are skills and the career that you learn and then you need to learn about business and how to make that being successful mm -hmm. so if you have a degree in any area you also once you get out into the world you are going into business mm -hmm. no matter what you do yeah, yeah. even if you work for someone yeah. if you work for someone you you're becoming part of a team yeah. And so if you become, if you get educated on entrepreneurial education, on mm -hmm. business education, mm -hmm. but not just traditional business, because traditional business schools are a little bit behind, mm -hmm. like about 30 or 50 or 100 years. Mm -hmm. They're very oh. old, uh, because they don't teach in experiential learning. Yes, it's like I love, uh, you know, we work with many Chinese, and I work, I connect with some Chinese tycoons, and they say, we send our children to go to Harvard and to go to the big schools for connections. Yeah. And when they come back, we teach them business. Yeah. They don't expect them to learn business. They want the connections. Right. Right. So you, and this is this yep. is the They're reputation right. of big schools mm -hmm. as you go there to make connections, which is great. Mm -hmm. But you really need to educate yourself in entrepreneurial education. And we are. I was very blessed to work with my mentors that were the original business school for entrepreneurs, but now is popping up mm -hmm. in a lot of different places, and we have the worldwide network to many of those people. So mm -hmm. that's why. Again, we are a portal yeah. because we can introduce people around the world right. that do very quick, accelerated education. Right. I, well, I would definitely advise you to know that business is like a recipe mm -hmm. and you need to learn from masters. Please don't attempt to learn business from just reading a book or from someone that hasn't succeeded at business. You need to learn the system from people that have done it. Okay. And I have a hard time sometimes with people that just start teaching these things mm -hmm. and make that the money maker for them. Right. And they really need to learn from masters. And of course, we recommend people that, of course, they come to our programs. But also sometimes people don't have the kind of money yet to come to our program. So what you do is you go and you become educated. Go to moneyandyou.com, start mm -hmm. learning that. Yeah. Uh, don't get into debt. You know, just that's, that's begin key. to create money, and then begin to get very, very clear on what you do, in which direction you want to go. Mm -hmm. you, we have wonderful uh, systems like a, a like a disc profile mm -hmm, yeah. that tells you the, the different person, personality yeah. Yeah. that yeah. you may have. Not everyone is a driver. Not everyone is chatty. Yeah. Not everyone is into systems. Not yeah. everyone is into details. Yeah. So you need to understand that there are systems to support yeah. you as an entrepreneur. Yeah.